What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another net worth update. We're going to jump straight into it today. I am going to do things a little bit differently, but you'll see exactly what I mean in a second. This is something of a milestone video and I have some pretty exciting news to share you. So make sure you stick around to the end. So for the month of August, my total amount of cash was $11,565. And that is spread between my checking savings and my emergency fund. So in my checking account, I had $2,553 at the end of the month. For my savings, I had $1,507. And for my emergency fund, I had $7,505. So for this portion of my net worth, it did fluctuate a little bit because last month, the total amount I had in cash was $11,972. So the total amount I had in cash did drop by about $400 or so. But I'm not really phased by that because realistically, the only reason the amount of money that I have in cash is less than usual, or at least less than last month, is because I started contributing $200 more toward my Roth IRA, which is $700. And I moved the other $200 around to my checking to keep building the buffer that I want to have in my checking account that I spoke about a couple videos ago. So all in all, I don't expect my cash at all to fluctuate anymore. It should just continue to go up and up and up. So now we're getting to so the exciting part, we're going to go into my investments now. So for my 401k from my last job, I have $10,793.75. And since this is being recorded on a Saturday, you'll see on the screen, the numbers aren't moving because the stock market is not open on the weekends. For my 401k number two, I have $87,613.42. And I'll say one thing, this 401k has really impressed me because it has grown so much and I never stopped putting money in it, especially in 2020. I never Never stopped putting money in it and at that time my company wasn't even matching us anymore because they needed to do what they had to do to save money for the betterment of the company so I definitely understood that but I kept putting money in it and then once they reinstated their match program man as you can see right here this has grown quite a bit. You can see the chart right here. I don't want to nerd out on you or anything, but I just want you to see how much it's grown over. I've only had it for five years. On the screen right here, it only lets me go back to three years, but I've owned this account since February 2019. Just to put it in perspective, it can grow quick. In my Roth IRA that you see right here on the screen, I have $18,611.66 as of the end of August. And the main reason I'm sharing these with you on the screen is I just want you to see what's inside of them. Of course, I can't really show you what's inside of my 401ks and stuff, because those are like generic accounts that the company allows me to choose from. But in something like Roth IRA, I have the full freedom to choose what I want. So this is what I have right here. So I have Apple, Microsoft, VOO, and VTI. I have 30% going into Apple, another 30% going into Microsoft. And then the remaining 40% is split even, 20% with VTI, and then another 20% for VOO. And this was 100% not my idea. I actually took this advice from a guy named Ian Dunlap. He is a way better investor than I am, so I figured I would put a portion of my net worth into something that he recommends. And it's been doing amazing since I changed my portfolio to look just like this. So just something to think about. And you'll see here at the bottom that there's $6.02 that I can spend. That's just dividend money that ended up going back into my account. So once I put another $700 in here, it'll have $706.02. And that'll just be reinvested into this portfolio you see here. This is what I meant by this video would be different, by the way. So then in my favorite account, which is my Weeble account, it did go down a little bit from last month, which we'll go over the numbers here in a second, but it is now at $31,594.43. And the total account is up 127.44%. So that's pretty cool to see. And the overall profit is $17,702.80. That is just nasty. Even though it did go down a little bit from last month, no one is gonna be upset with seeing an extra 17,000 plus dollars in their account. And of course I could cash this out, buy something nice or just put it away in savings or even pay off my loans with some of it. But if y'all know me, I'm in this for the long term. I'm gonna let this multiply and turn to millions. I ain't touching it right now. But anyway, just so you can see what's inside of this account, my one and only ETF is VTI, and I have six shares of that. I have 11 shares of Google, 110 shares of NVIDIA. Shout out to NVIDIA for literally carrying this whole account. 
I have 21 shares of Microsoft and 27 shares of Apple. So it's a nice little portfolio right now. I say little very loosely. I just mean that I plan on this getting way bigger in the future. But right now, I haven't contributed to it for over a year. So once I get back to putting money in this, it's going to multiply a lot quicker and get a lot bigger. But I'm very proud of that account. Now we're going to get to another interesting part, crypto. Uh, crypto is a very volatile type of investment. Uh, I haven't touched it since 2022, but I do still have some crypto. I don't have it on my phone. I actually keep it on a cold wallet called Ledger. And you plug it into your computer. It's a super secure device. But basically, I'm saying that to let you know I don't have anything on the screen to show you for this one. But I do have $472 in crypto right now, which went down a little over $100 from last month, which is fine because literally... It's just extra money at this point that I just have in crypto. It's not something I really ever plan on touching or anything, but it is cool to know that that's there in case I ever need it. And last but not least, life insurance. The thing that I've been criticized the most about in these videos, which blows my mind because I do not spend that much money per month on it at all. And it's a very secure cash value, but I'm not going to go on a whole tangent on that again. You can watch the last few videos I made on my net worth updates to see that. But I have $2,412 in my whole life life insurance account. All for a grand total for my assets to come out to $163,042. And that is a very good amount. And my overall assets did go up from last month. Last month, it came out to $159,014. This month, $163,042. That's a $4,028 increase. I'm not upset about that at all. I'm about happy about it. And I just wanted to point out before we move to the next section of this video, my investments. I already told you how much I had in my cash, 11565 for the month of August. My investments came out to $149,064. That is how many dollars I have invested right now. That is insane. And that just goes to show something. I know there's a lot of videos on my channel about saving. I know a lot of you watching my videos love to save and you want to find better ways to save and you want to just have the most amount of money possible in your bank account. I'm telling you right now, the best way to grow your net worth is by investing. As you can see right here, my investments are why my net worth are in the six figures in the first place. You get what I'm saying? And we're gonna keep moving. I'm not gonna lecture you about investing or anything. I know that there's different comfort levels and different skill sets when it comes to investing. There's a lot that comes with it. It's not the easiest thing in the world to just drop everything you're doing and start investing. So that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is you should definitely consider it if you want to grow your money past a certain threshold within a certain amount of time because I haven't been into the personal finance space for that long and I haven't been good with money for that long. But I will say that for the past eight years, I gave it all I had and I didn't know any better at first, so I made a lot of mistakes. But now it's crazy to see that I have almost $150,000 of my money invested. That is pretty crazy and pretty mind blowing to see. So even though having cash is important, I just want to let you know that if I saved 100% of my income this year and I added that $11,565 onto it, I would still have less money in my cash than I do in my investments right now. And I make six figures. Isn't that crazy? And I say that because it takes significantly longer to save your way to it than investing. That's all I wanted to say. Now to the debt. Student loans, $23,338 are remaining right now. And even though I'm not in a big, big rush to pay this off, because obviously I'm prioritizing investments, because as I just showed you, it is what is carrying my entire net worth. I do also understand the importance of getting out of student loan debt. So I have made the conscious decision that once my money gets to where I want it to get to, I will be more aggressive about paying it off and you will see it happen in real time. And I am a firm believer in the avalanche method, so that will be the method I'll be using. No medical bills or nothing like that, but credit card, I do have $1,310. And some of you might start to wonder, well, why are you using your credit card every month? Look, I was trying to get some rewards points. I ain't seeing no return on investment. I'm seeing like $20 for every $1,000 that I'm spending. So I'm not going to be using my credit card like that anymore. I might use it here and there for something cheap, but 
it just doesn't seem worth it. Like worth the effort, I mean. Like obviously, as you can see in my cash, I do have money to pay it off and I do pay it off at the beginning of every single month. But I was looking earlier in the year and I only had like $20 on my credit card or I just didn't have anything on my credit card. I want to get back to that. And even though it seemed like a good idea at first, I just, just to be perfectly transparent with you, it, it kind of seems like I'm not getting much for it. And even though an extra $20 is still an extra $20, I, I would rather just take the mental aspect out of it. When it comes to money, I don't like to think about it. I like for things to be automatic. The only thing when it comes to money that I really do think about nowadays is investing. That's because prior to getting heavy into investing, I obviously had to do some research on the companies. You get what I'm saying? But when it comes to this, I'm really not here for it. And I don't want anybody to see my net worth videos and be like, okay, well, this guy is doing good. So that means I can start splurging with my credit card. That might put you in a situation. And I just don't want to have any parts of, of anything like that. So just so you know, if you're, if you're wondering why am I seeing this trend of over a thousand dollars on the credit card, at least for the past couple of months, you've seen that trend if you've been watching these videos, but that's not something I plan on continuing at all. But the interesting thing about that is my overall debt ended up coming out to 24,648, which is still less than what it was last month, which was 24,722. So my overall net worth, and this is the milestone part that I really wanted to talk to you about, is $138,393. My total net worth did go up over $4,100 within the last month. And they do say that once you hit six figures in net worth, it just starts jumping and jumping and jumping. That is all I've really seen. And here, here's how I know that. I never really, until now, I've never really looked back at all the net worth stuff and from month to month, except for just to talk about these videos. But I didn't break it down this is the first eight months of this year, right? So check this out. Since the beginning of 2024, my net worth has gone up $42,863. I had to put that in perspective for myself. Some people don't take that home per year, but the power of having a strong net worth mostly in investments is your investments can grow your net worth more than what some other folks around you are getting paid per year and taking home per year. Isn't that crazy to think about? This is what I mean when I say stuff like make money in your sleep. And I don't put this stuff up here to brag or to flex or anything like that. I'm not here for, for none of that. I'm not a flashy person, never have been and never will be. But there is something to be said about making passive income through investments. That's why I talk about investing so much on this channel. And I really want you all to become financially stable to a point where you can now utilize your money toward investments, toward savings, toward getting out of debt, things like that. And not necessarily in that order by any means. It's gonna depend on what your specific situation is, but it is a very nice thing. It's a very cool thing to be in the place that I'm in right now. But I also know that I'm just getting started and I gotta keep going. I can't get comfortable. Let me rephrase that. I can't get too comfortable. You should always enjoy the fruits of your labor, but I just can't get too comfortable and start feeling like, oh, I done made it. I haven't made it to where I want to be yet. I will get there, but I'm not there yet. And I just thank you all for joining me along the way. If you have any feedback or any questions or any comments, leave comments down below for me. I need feedback on these videos so I can continue to make them better since this is a series that is specific to not just me and what I have going on, but also it's a specific pathway to show people who don't really know where to start or don't really understand personal finances to see how someone else is doing it. And if you watch this whole series, you'll understand exactly how I went from zero to having over a six figure net worth. But anyway, that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.